Okay, I thought that I just never really liked coconut cake until I came up with this super soft, incredibly delicious recipe that has just the right amount of coconut flavor. It is so, so good. So to start off, you wanna preheat your oven to 160C or 320F with the fan on and grease and line the bottom of two eight inch cake tins. I'm using my homemade cake release to grease the sides and the bottom. And then I'm also lining the bottoms with some baking paper as this cake does tend to stick to the bottom. Set these aside and in a small bowl, sift together your dry ingredients. So I've got two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, also known as corn flour, one tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And then just using a whisk, just mix that all together until well combined. Okay, now set this aside and in a large bowl, add in half a cup or 113 grams of unsalted butter three tablespoons of unflavored vegetable oil, and one and two thirds of a cup of white granulated sugar. And then using a hand or stand mixer, cream that together for about two minutes until it's lighter in color. Next, you wanna add in three eggs, mixing well in between each addition. So about 10 to 15 seconds between each egg. Okay, once that's done, add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of coconut essence or extract. Now, if you can't find any kind of coconut flavoring at your local supermarket, then half a teaspoon of almond extract or essence works great as well. And then you also wanna add in half a cup of coconut milk, and then just mix that together until well combined. Okay, now just get all of that batter off of your, you know, little attachments because we're going to be doing the rest by hand. So first add in half of your pre-sifted dry ingredients and gently fold that through with a spatula until just combined. Then add in a further three quarters of a cup of coconut milk and gently fold that through until just combined. And then add in your remaining dry ingredients and again, gently fold that through until just combined. Be careful not to overmix the batter. Now to finish off, we're going to add in one cup of shredded coconut and then just gently fold that through until just combined. So again, remember not to overmix your batter. Okay, so that is our batter all done. I can smell the coconut coming through. And now we're just going to evenly distribute this into our two pre-prepared cake tins. And then just give your cake tins a light bang to get rid of any large air bubbles. And now these are going to go into the oven for 33 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. So my cakes are out of the oven now. They smell so, so good. They've been cooling in the cake tins for about 20 minutes. And now I'm just running a thin knife around the edges to release the cakes from the cake tins and turning them out onto a wire rack to completely cool. These cake layers are honestly so, so soft. You guys are going to absolutely love this cake. Okay, now while these cake layers are cooling, let's go ahead and make an incredibly delicious coconut cream cheese frosting. It is so, so easy to put together. So you wanna start off by adding one cup or 225 grams of unsalted butter to a large bowl and using a hand or stand mixer, mix for a few minutes until it's lighter in color. Next, you wanna add in four and a half cups of icing sugar in three batches. So just make sure each batch is mixed in well before adding in the next batch. And this is just going to help everything kind of mix a lot easier. Now to finish off, add in one and a half cups of cold cream cheese. And you wanna make sure you're using a firm cream cheese along with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of coconut flavoring. Again, if you can't find, you know, coconut essence or extract at your supermarket, then half a teaspoon of almond extract or essence will work great as well. And then just mix that together until well combined. Try not to over mix it. So just mix until it's nice and smooth. Okay, and that is it. My super delicious coconut cream cheese frosting is all done. So my cake layers are cool now and now we're ready to decorate. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the caramelized edges of my cake layers. Now this is totally optional, absolutely not necessary. So if you wanna skip this step, you can totally do that. I'm purely doing this for aesthetic purposes. Once that's done, I'm placing a generous amount of frosting on top of my first cake layer and spreading it out with my offset spatula. Then my next cake layer goes on top. And again, I'm spreading out a generous amount of frosting on the top and around the sides as well. 
And then to smooth it out, I'm just using my cake scraper around the edges and then just using my offset spatula to bring in that top lip of frosting so that I've got, you know, kind of sharp edges on my cake. And then to finish off, I'm just using some shredded coconut and just covering the entire outside of the cake with that shredded coconut. Now, if you don't want to decorate your cake like this, then you can also fold in the shredded coconut into your frosting. Okay, and that is it. My coconut cake is all done. This cake is honestly so, so soft. It has a beautiful coconut flavor coming through and that coconut cream cheese frosting is literally the icing on the cake. It pairs so, so well. Mmm, that is so, so good. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> and the shredded coconut on the outside of the cake just adds great texture to the cake, so I would highly recommend doing that. If you try out this recipe, don't forget to leave a review on my blog. I love hearing from you guys and it really helps my content reach more people. I'll see you in the next video.